Pamamsambhava lit. Lotus born, also known as Guru Rinpoche, was an 8th century Buddhist master from the Indian subcontinent. Although there was a historical Pamamsambhava, little is known of him apart from helping the construction of the first Buddhist monastery in Tibet at Sami, at the behest of Trisong Detson, and shortly thereafter leaving Tibet due to court intrigues. A number of legends have grown around Pamamsambhava's life and deeds, and he is widely venerated as a second Buddha. By adherents of Tibetan Buddhism in Tibet, Nepal, Bhutan, the Himalayan states of India, and elsewhere, in Tibetan Buddhism, he is a character of a genre of literature called terma, an emanation of Amitabha that is said to appear to Tertans in visionary encounters and a focus of guru yoga practice, particularly in the Rime schools. The Nyingma school considers Pamamsambhava to be a founder of their tradition. Historical sources One of the earliest sources for Pamamsambhava as a historical figure is the Testament of Ba dating to the 9th or 10th centuries, which records the founding of Sami Monastery under the reign of King Trisong Detson r. 755 Other texts from Dunhuang show that Pamamsambhava's tantric teachings were being taught in Tibet during the 10th century. New evidence suggests that Pamamsambhava already figured in religious myth and ritual, and was probably even seen as the enlightened source of tantric scriptures, as many as 200 years before Niangral Naima Ozer Mythos <inaudible> 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 Topic. Sources Niangral Naima Ozer was the principal architect of the Pamamsambhava mythos according to Janet Gyatso. Guru Chawang was the next major contributor to the mythos. In the 11th and 12th centuries, there were several competing terma traditions surrounding Pamamsambhava, Vimalamitra, Songzhan Gampo, and Viratsana. At the end of the 12th century, there was the victory of the Pamamsambhava cult, in which a much greater role is assigned to the role of Pamamsambhava in the introduction of Buddhism to Tibet. <laughs> Early years Birth <laughs> 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 According to tradition, Pamamsambhava was incarnated as an eight-year-old child appearing in a lotus blossom floating in Lake Donakosha, in the kingdom of Adhyana. While some scholars locate this kingdom in the Swat Valley area of modern-day Pakistan, a case on literary, archaeological, and iconographical grounds can be made for placing it in the present-day state of Odisha in India. Pamamsambhava's special nature was recognized by the childless local king of Adhyana and was chosen to take over the kingdom, but he left Adhyana for northern parts of India. <laughs> Tantra in India and Nepal In Rewalsar, known as So Pema in Tibetan, he secretly taught tantric teachings to Princess Mandarava, the local king's daughter. The king found out and tried to burn him, but it is believed that when the smoke cleared he just sat there, still alive and in meditation. Greatly astonished by this miracle, the king offered Pamamsambhava both his kingdom and Mandarava. Pamamsambhava left with Mandarava, and took to Maritika Cave in Nepal to practice secret tantric consort rituals. They had a vision of Buddha Amitayas and achieved what is called the Foa Rainbow Body, a very rare type of spiritual realization. Both Pamamsambhava and one of his consorts, Mandarava, are still believed to be alive and active in this rainbow body form by their followers. She and Pamamsambhava's other main consort, Yeshe Sogyal, who reputedly hid his numerous termas in Tibet for later discovery, reached Buddhahood. Many thangkas and paintings show Pamamsambhava in between them, with Mandarava on his right and Yeshe Sogyal on his left. Tibet. Subjection of local religions 
According to Sam Van Shaikh, from the 12th century on a greater role was assigned to Pamam Sambhava in the introduction of Tantric Buddhism into Tibet. According to earlier histories, Pamam Sambhava had given some Tantric teachings to Tibetans before being forced to leave due to the suspicions of the Tibetan court. But from the 12th century an alternative story, itself a terma discovery, gave Pamam Sambhava a much greater role in the introduction of Buddhism to Tibet, and in particular credited him with traveling all over the country to convert the local spirits to Buddhism. According to this enlarged story, King Trisong Detson, the 38th king of the Yarlung dynasty and the first emperor of Tibet 742 invited the Nalanda University abbot Santaraksita Tibetan Shiwatso to Tibet. Santaraksita started the building of Sami. Demonical forces hindered the introduction of the Buddhist Dharma, and Pamam Sambhava was invited to Tibet to subdue the demonic forces. The demons were not annihilated, but were obliged to submit to the Dharma. This was in accordance with the Tantric principle of not eliminating negative forces but redirecting them to fuel the journey toward spiritual awakening. According to tradition, Pamam Sambhava received the emperor's wife, identified with the Dakini Yeshe Sogyal, as a consort. Translations King Trisong Detson ordered the translation of all Buddhist Dharma texts into Tibetan. Pamam Sambhava, Shantaraksita, 108 translators, and 25 of Pamam Sambhava's nearest disciples worked for many years in a gigantic translation project. The translations from this period formed the base for the large scriptural transmission of Dharma teachings into Tibet. Pamam Sambhava supervised mainly the translation of Tantra, Shantarakshita concentrated on the sutra teachings. Nyingma Pamam Sambhava introduced the people of Tibet to the practice of Tantric Buddhism, he is regarded as the founder of the Nyingma tradition. The Nyingma tradition is the oldest of the four major schools of Tibetan Buddhism. The Nyingma tradition actually comprises several distinct lineages that all trace their origins to Pamam Sambhava. Nyingma literally means ancient and is often referred to as Nagyur or the early translation school because it is founded on the first translations of Buddhist scriptures from Sanskrit into Tibetan. In the 8th century, the group particularly believes in hidden terma treasures. Traditionally, Nyingmapa practice was advanced orally among a loose network of lay practitioners. Monasteries with celibate monks and nuns, along with the practice of reincarnated spiritual leaders are later adaptations, though Pamam Sambhava is regarded as the founder of Sami Gomfa, the first monastery in the country. In modern times the Nyingma lineage has been centered in Kham in eastern Tibet. Bhutan. Bhutan has many important pilgrimage places associated with Pamam Sambhava. The most famous is Paro Taktsang or Tiger's Nest Monastery which is built on a sheer cliff wall about 900 meters above the floor of Paro Valley. It was built around the Taktsang Senj Samdup Stag T Shang Seng Gebsam Grub cave where he is said to have meditated in the 8th century. He flew there from Tibet on the back of Yeshe Sogyal, whom he transformed into a flying tigress for the purpose of the trip. Later he traveled to Bumthang district to subdue a powerful deity offended by a local king. According to legend, Pamamsambhava's body imprint can be found in the wall of a cave at nearby Kurje Lakang temple. <laughs> Iconography, manifestations and attributes Iconography Topic <inaudible> General He has one face and two hands He is wrathful and smiling He blazes magnificently with the splendor of the major and minor marks Topic <inaudible> Head on his head he wears a five-petaled lotus hat, which has three points symbolizing the three kayas, five colors symbolizing the five kayas, a sun and moon symbolizing skillful means and wisdom, 
a vajra top to symbolize unshakable samadhi, a vulture's feather to represent the realization of the highest view. His two eyes are wide open in a piercing gaze. He has the youthful appearance of an eight-year-old child. Topic. Skin His complexion is white with a tinge of red. Topic. Dress On his body he wears a white vajra undergarment. On top of this, in layers, a red robe, a dark blue mantrayana tunic, a red monastic shawl decorated with a golden flower pattern, and a maroon cloak of silk brocade. On his body he wears a silk cloak, dharma robes and gown. He is wearing the dark blue gown of a mantra practitioner, the red and yellow shawl of a monk, the maroon cloak of a king, and the red robe and secret white garments of a bodhisattva. Hands In his right hand, he holds a five-pronged vajra at his heart. His left hand rests in the gesture of equanimity. In his left hand he holds a skull cup brimming with nectar, containing the vase of longevity that is also filled with the nectar of deathless wisdom and ornamented on top by a wish-fulfilling tree. Katvanga. The Katvanga is a particular divine attribute of Pamamsambhava and intrinsic to his iconographic representation. It is a danda with three severed heads denoting the three kayas the three bodies of a Buddha, the Dharmakaya, Sambhogakaya, and Nirmanakaya, crowned by a trishula, and dressed with a sash of the Himalayan rainbow or five pure lights of the Mahabuddha. The iconography is utilized in various tantric cycles by practitioners as symbols to hidden meanings in transmitted practices. Cradled in his left arm he holds the three-pointed katvanga trident symbolizing the princess consort Mandarava, one of his two main consorts, who arouses the wisdom of bliss and emptiness, concealed as the three-pointed katvanga trident. Other sources say that the katvanga represents the lady Yeshe Sogyal, his primary consort and main disciple. Its three points represent the essence, nature and compassionate energy Ngowo, Rangshayan and Tukje. Below these three prongs are three severed heads, dry, fresh and rotten, symbolizing the Dharmakaya, Sambhogakaya and Nirmanakaya. Nine iron rings adorning the prongs represent the nine yanas. Five colored strips of silk symbolize the five wisdoms. The Katvanga is also adorned with locks of hair from dead and living mammos and dakinis, as a sign that the master subjugated them all when he practiced austerities in the eight great charnel grounds. Seat He is seated with his two feet in the royal posture. Surrounding All around him, within a lattice of five colored light, appear the eight Vidyadharas of India, the twenty-five disciples of Tibet, the deities of the three roots, and an ocean of oath-bound protectors there are further iconographies and meanings in more advanced and secret stages. Eight manifestations Pamamsambhava is said to have taken eight forms or manifestations tib. Guru Sen Gai representing different aspects of his being, such as wrath or pacification for example. According to Rigpa Shedra the eight principal forms were assumed by Guru Rinpoche at different points in his life. The eight manifestations of Pamamsambhava belong to the tradition of the revealed treasures Tib, Ter Ma. Guru Organ Dorje Chong Wiley, Guru Urgian Rdorje Chong, Sanskrit, Guru Uddiyana Vajradhara the Vajra holder SKT. Vajradhara, shown dark blue in color in the attire of the Sambhogakaya. Depicted in union with consort. Guru Shakya Senj Wiley, Shakya Seng Ge, Skirt, Guru Sakyasimha of Bodh Gaya, Lion of the Sakyas, who learns the tantric practices of the eight Vidyadharas. He is shown as a fully ordained Buddhist monk. Guru Pema Galpo Wiley, Guru Pad Ma Arjil Po, Skirt, Guru Padmaraja of Uddiyana, the Lotus Prince, King of the Tripitaka the three collections of scripture. He is shown looking like a young crowned prince or king. 
Guru Pema Jungnya Wiley, Padma Byung Gnas, Skirt, Guru Padmakara Lotus Arisen, the savior who teaches the Dharma to the people. He is shown sitting on a lotus, dressed in the three robes of a monk, under which he wears a blue shirt, pants and heavy Tibetan boots, as protection against the cold. He holds the diamond scepter of compassionate love in his right hand and the yogi's skull bowl of clear wisdom in his left. He has a special trident called Katvanga of a wandering yogi, and wears on his head a Nepalese cloth crown, stylistically designed to remind one of the shape of a lotus flower. Thus he is represented as he must have appeared in Tibet, on Wikimedia Commons. Guru Lodan Chaks Wiley, Guru Blo Ldan Mikhog Sred, Skirt, Guru Mativat Vararuchi of Kashmir, the intelligent youth, the one who gathers the knowledge of all worlds. He is shown in princely clothes, beating a hand drum and holding a skull bowl. Guru Naima Ozer Wiley, Guru Nyi Ma Ad Zir, Skirt, Guru Suryabhasa or Suryarazmi, the sunray yogi, who illuminates the darkness of the mind through the insight of Dzogchen. He is shown as a naked yogi dressed only in a loin cloth and holding a katvanga which points towards the sun. Guru Dorje Drolo Wiley, Guru Rdorje Gro Lod, Skirt, Guru Vajra, the fierce manifestation of Vajrakalaya wrathful Varasattva known as Diamond Guts, the comforter of all, imprinting the elements with wisdom treasure. Guru Senj Dradog Wiley, Guru Seng Gesgras Grogs, Skirt, Guru Simanada of Nalanda University, the lion of debate, promulgator of the Dharma throughout the six realms of sentient beings. He is shown in a very fierce form, dark blue and imitative of the powerful Bodhisattva Vajrapani, holding a thunderbolt scepter in one hand and a scorpion in the other. Pamamsambhava's various Sanskrit names are preserved in mantras such as those found in the Yang Ji Sang Rig D Zin Yung's R D Zog's Ki Blama Guru M T Shan Bergyad Bai Brag Du S Grub Pa Yi Shis B D U D Artsi S Brang Char J B Y A Ba. Topic Attributes Topic Pure Land Paradise His Pure Land Paradise is Zangdok Pauri, the copper colored mountain. Topic Samantabhadra and Samantabhadri Pamansambhava said my father is the intrinsic awareness, Samantabhadra Sanskrit, Tib. My mother is the ultimate sphere of reality, Samantabhadri Sanskrit, Tib. I belong to the caste of non-duality of the sphere of awareness. My name is the glorious lotus born. I am from the unborn sphere of all phenomena. I act in the way of the Buddhas of the three times. Teachings and practices ascribed to Pamamsambhava The Vajra Guru Mantra The Vajra Guru Mantra Om Aham Vajra Guru Padma Siddhi Hum is favored and held in esteem by sadakas. Like most Sanskritic mantras in Tibet, the Tibetan pronunciation demonstrates dialectic variation and is generally Om Ah Hung Benza Guru Pema Siddhi Hung. In the Vajrayana traditions, particularly of the Nyingmapa, it is held to be a powerful mantra engendering communion with the three Vajras of Pamamsambhava's mindstream and by his grace, all enlightened beings. In response to Yeshe Sogyal's request, the great master himself explained the meaning of the mantra although there are larger secret meanings too. The 14th century Turtan Karma Lingpa has a famous commentary on the mantra. Topic: The seven-line prayer to Pamamsambhava. The seven-line prayer to Pamamsambhava, Guru Rinpoche, is a famous prayer that is recited by many Tibetans daily and is said to contain the most sacred and important teachings of Dzogchen. Jamgon Ju Mifam Gyatso composed a famous commentary to the seven-line prayer called White Lotus. It explains the meanings, which are embedded in many levels and intended to catalyze a process of realization. These hidden teachings are described as ripening and deepening, in time, with study and with contemplation. Tulku Thondup says, 
Enshrining the most sacred prayer to Guru Pamamsambhava, White Lotus elucidates its five layers of meaning as revealed by the eminent scholar Ju Mipham. This commentary now makes this treasure, which has been kept secret among the great masters of Tibet for generations, available as a source of blessings and learning for all. There is also a shorter commentary, freely available, by Tulku Thandup himself. There are many other teachings and termas and widely practiced tantric cycles incorporating the text as well as brief ones such as Terma Revelation of Guru Chawang. Termas Pamamsambhava also hid a number of religious treasures termas in lakes, caves, fields and forests of the Himalayan region to be found and interpreted by future tertans or spiritual treasure finders. According to Tibetan tradition, the Bardo Thotal commonly referred to as the Tibetan Book of the Dead was among these hidden treasures, subsequently discovered by a Tibetan tertan, Karma Lingpa. Tantric cycles Tantric cycles related to Pamamsambhava are not just practiced by the Nyingma, they even gave rise to a new offshoot of Bon which emerged in the 14th century called the New Bon. Prominent figures of the Sarma new translation schools such as the Karmapas and Sakya lineage heads have practiced these cycles and taught them. Some of the greatest tertans revealing teachings related to Pamamsambhava have been from the Kagyu or Sakya lineages. The hidden lake temple of the Dalai Lamas behind the Potala called Lukang is dedicated to Dzogchen teachings and has murals depicting the eight manifestations of Pamamsambhava. Pamamsambhava established Vajrayana Buddhism and the highest forms of Dzogchen in Tibet and transformed the entire nation. <laughs> Consorts and 25 main disciples Many of those who gathered around Pamamsambhava became advanced tantric practitioners as well as helping to found and propagate the Nyingma tradition. The most prominent of these include Pamamsambhava's five main female consorts, also known as Dakinis and his 25 main disciples. The five main consorts or five wisdom Dakinis Pamamsambhava had five main female tantric companions, beginning in India before his time in Tibet and then in Tibet as well. When seen from an outer, or perhaps even historical or mythological perspective, these five women from across South Asia were known as the five consorts. That the women come from very different geographic regions is understood as mandala, a support for Pamamsambhava in spreading the Dharma throughout the region. Yet, when understood from a more inner tantric perspective, these same women are understood not as ordinary women but as Dakinis. From this point of view, they are known as the Five Wisdom Dakinis. Wiley, Yishis Mkha Gro Lnga. Each of these consorts is believed to be an emanation of the tantric yidam, Vajravarahi. As one author writes of these relationships, yet in reality, he was never separate from the five emanations of Vajravarahi, the body emanation, Mandarava, the speech emanation, Yeshe Sogyal, the mind emanation, Shakyadima, the qualities emanation, Kalasiddhi, and the activity emanation, Trashi sick Chidran. In summary, the five consorts, wisdom Dakinis were Yeshe Sogyal of Tibet, who was the emanation of Vajravarahi's speech Tibetan, Ji Sung, Sanskrit, Vak Mandarava of Zahor, Northeast India, who was the emanation of Vajravarahi's body Tibetan, Skew, Sanskrit, Kaya Belwang Kalasiddhi of Northwest India, who was the emanation of Vajravarahi's quality Tibetan, Yan Tan, Sanskrit, Guna Belmo Sakya Devi of Nepal, who was the emanation of Vajravarahi's mind Tibetan, thugs, Sanskrit, Sita, and Tashi Kiedran or Chidran sometimes called Mingala of Bhutan, who was the emanation of Vajravarahi's activity Tibetan, Frin Las, Sanskrit, Karma. While there are very few sources on the lives of Kalasiddhi, Sakya Devi, and Tashi Kiedran, there are extant biographies of both Yeshe Sogyal and Mandarava that have been translated into English and other Western languages. The 25 main disciples of Pamamsambhava 
The 25 main disciples Tibetan, Wiley, R -J -E, Bangs N -Y -E -R -L -N -G -A, also called the disciples of Champu. In various lists these include King Trisong Detson Tibetan, Wiley, Khri Srong Ldu Bt Zan Denma Samong Tibetan, Wiley, Ldan Ma Rtse Mang Dorje Dujam of Nanam Tibetan, Wiley, Rdorje Bdud Joms Image on Wikimedia Commons Kichung Latsawa Tibetan, Wiley, Kayu Chung Lo Sa Ba Galwa Chongchub of Lassam Tibetan, Wiley, Lassam Argeel Ba Byang Chub Image on Wikimedia Commons Galwa Choyang Tibetan, Wiley, Argeel Ba Makhog DB Yangs Galway Lodro of Dre Tibetan, Wiley, Argeel Bai Blo Gross Nyanakumara of Nyak Tibetan, Wiley, Nyags Dzny Na Kuma Ra Kawa Palchik Tibetan, Wiley, Ska Ba D Pal Brzegs Kondro Yeshe Sogyal, the Princess of Karchan Tibetan, Wiley, M Kar Chen Bza Mtsho Argeel Kanchog Jungye of Langdro Tibetan, Wiley, Lang Gro Dkon Makhog Byung Gnas Lopal the Sokpo Tibetan, Wiley, Sog Po Lhad Pal Namkai Nyingpo Tibetan, Wiley, Nam Makai Snying Po Zhang Yesheda Tibetan, Wiley, Zhang Yishis Sde Lelung Pelji Dorje Tibetan, Wiley, Lha Lung D Pal Gi Rdorje Palji Senj Tibetan, Wiley, D Pal Gi Seng Ge Palji Wangchuk Tibetan, Wiley, D Pal Gi D Bang Phyag Palji Wangchuk of Odran Tibetan, Wiley, Odran D Pal Gi D Bang Phyag Palji Yeshe Tibetan, Wiley, D Pal Gi Yishis Rinchen Chok of Ma Tibetan, Wiley, Rmarin Chen Makhog Sangyi Yeshe Tibetan, Wiley, Sangs Arjiyaz Yishis Shubu Palji Senj Tibetan, Wiley, Shudbu Di Pal Gi Seng Ge Viratsana, the Great Translator Tibetan, Wiley, Bai Rotsa Na Yeshe Yang Tibetan, Wiley, Yishis Db Yangs Yudra Nyingpo of Gyalmo Tibetan, Wiley, G. Usgra Snying Po also Vimalamitra Tibetan, Wiley, Dru Med B Shis Nyan Tingzin Zongpo Tibetan, Wiley, Ting D Zin Bazang Po Image on Wikimedia Commons Topic Gallery Topic See also Crazy Wisdom Dampa Sangyi Dujam Rinpoche Kobo Daishi Notes <laughs>